The Ford River Rouge Complex, commonly known as the Rouge Complex or just the Rouge, is a Ford Motor Company automobile factory complex located in Dearborn, Michigan, along the River Rouge, upstream from its confluence with the Detroit River at Zug Island. Construction began in 1917, and when it was completed in 1928, it was the largest integrated factory in the world. It inspired the gas factory built in the 1930s in the Soviet Union, and the later Hyundai factory complex in Ulsan, South Korea, which was developed beginning in the late 1960s. Designed by Albert Kahn, the Rouge was designated as a National Historic Landmark District in 1978 for its architecture and historical importance to the industry and economy of the United States. Structure The Rouge measures 1.5 miles kilometers wide by 1 mile kilometers long, including 93 buildings with nearly 16 million square feet square kilometers of factory floor space. With its own docks in the dredged Rouge River, 100 miles kilometers of interior railroad track, its own electricity plant, and integrated steel mill, the Titanic Rouge was able to turn raw materials into running vehicles within this single complex, a prime example of vertical integration production. More than 100,000 workers were employed there even during the Great Depression of the 1930s. Some of the Rouge buildings were designed by architect Albert Kahn. His Rouge glass plant was regarded at the time as an exemplary and humane factory building, with ample natural light provided through windows in the ceiling. Since the late 20th century, several buildings have been converted to green structures with a number of environmentally friendly features. In the summer of 1932, through Edsel Ford's support, Mexican artist Diego Rivera was invited to study the facilities at the Rouge. These studies informed his set of murals known as Detroit Industry, which has been on continuous display at the Detroit Institute of Arts since their completion in 1933. Production The Rouge's first products were Eagle boats, World War I anti-submarine warfare boats produced in Building B. The original Building B, a three-story structure, is part of the legendary Dearborn assembly plant, which started producing Model A's in the late 1920s and continued production through 2004. After the war, production turned to Fordson tractors. Although the Rouge's Coke ovens and foundry produced nearly all the parts of the Model T, assembly of that vehicle remained at Highland Park. It was not until 1927 that automobile production began there, with the introduction of the Ford Model A later Rouge products included the 1932 Model B, the original Mercury, the Ford Thunderbird, Mercury Capri, and four decades of Ford Mustangs. The old assembly plant was idled with the construction and launch of a new assembly facility on the Miller Road side of the complex, currently producing Ford F-150 pickup trucks. The River Rouge complex manufactured most of the components of Ford vehicles, starting with the Model T, where many of the vehicles were compiled into knockdown kits, then sent by railroad to various assembly locations across the United States to be locally assembled, using local labor and supplies as necessary. After the 1960s, Ford began to decentralize manufacturing, building several factories in major metropolitan centers. The Rouge was downsized, with many units including the famous furnaces and docks sold off to independent companies. On May 26, 1937, a group of workers attempting to organize a union at the Rouge were severely beaten, an event later called the Battle of the Overpass. Peter E. Martin's respect for labor led to Walter Ruther, a UAW leader, allowing Martin to be the only Ford manager to retrieve his papers or gain access to the plant. By 1987, only Mustang production remained at the Dearborn Assembly Plant. DAP. In 1987 Ford planned to replace the car with the front-wheel drive Ford Probe, but public outcry quickly turned to surging sales. With the fourth-generation Mustang a success, the Rouge was saved as well. Ford decided to modernize its operations. 
A gas explosion on February 1, 1999, killed six employees and injured two dozen more, resulting in the idling of the power plant. Michigan utility CMS Energy built a state-of-the-art power plant across Miller Road to replace the electricity and steam production, as well as the blast furnace waste gas consumption of the original power plant as it ended production. Dearborn Assembly Plant (DAP) was one of six plants within the Ford Rouge Center. The plant was open from 1918 to May 10, 2004, with a red convertible 2004 Ford Mustang GT being the last vehicle built at the historic site. Demolition of the historic DAP facility was completed in 2008. All that remains is a 3,000-place parking lot to hold light truck production from the new Dearborn truck plant. <laughs> Ford Rouge Center Today, the Rouge site is home to Ford's Rouge Center. This industrial park includes six Ford factories on 600 acres square kilometers of land, as well as steelmaking operations run by AK Steel, a U.S. steelmaker. The new Dearborn Truck Factory famously features a vegetation-covered roof and rainwater reclamation system designed by sustainability architect William McDonough. This facility is still Ford's largest factory and employs some 6,000 workers. Mustang production, however, has moved to the Flat Rock assembly plant in Flat Rock, Michigan. Tours of the Rouge complex were a long tradition. Free bus tours of the facility began in 1924 and ran until 1980, at their peak hosting approximately a million visitors per year. They resumed in 2004 in cooperation with the Henry Ford Museum with multimedia presentations, as well as viewing of the assembly floor. The Ford Rouge Factory Tour had 148,000 visitors in 2017. The management of Dearborn Truck has decreed that no vehicles from other manufacturers may park at the front of the main employee lot. Non Ford family vehicles are required to park in the back 12 rows of parking spaces. Hourly workers from both Ford and AK Steel facilities at the complex are represented by UAW Local 600. A fleet of three Ford-owned Great Lakes freighters initially named for the Ford grandsons or later, renamed for top company executives, was based at the River Rouge plant. When the ships were retired, one was scrapped, but the deckhouse of the SS William Clay Ford was relocated to a museum in the Belle Isle Detroit City Park in the Detroit River and the deckhouse of the SS Benson Ford was transported by crane barge to put in Bay, Ohio and placed on an 18-foot cliff as a private home above Lake Erie. Topic. Renovated architecture In 1999, architect William McDonough entered into an agreement with Ford Motor Company to redesign its 85-year-old, 1,212-acre Rouge River facility. The roof of the 1.1 million square foot square meters Dearborn Truck Assembly Plant was covered with more than 10 acres hectares of sedum, a low-growing ground cover. The sedum retains and cleanses rainwater and moderates the internal temperature of the building, saving energy. The roof is part of an $18 million rainwater treatment system designed to collect and clean rainwater annually, sparing Ford from a $50 million mechanical treatment facility. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Current product made. Ford F150 1948-present. Topic. Former products made Ford Mustang 1964 to 2004 Mercury Capri 1979 to 1986 Mercury Cougar 1966 to 1973 Topic See also Ford Piquet Avenue Plant